You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! One more question. Yeah. I was I did an interview with Cortez. Yeah. And uh, one thing he said, and it struck a nerve, not a bad nerve okay. with me, but it struck a nerve with me. He was like, uh, if you're a battle rapper, um, you can't de- de- depend on that deposit. Nah. You need to have a job. You need to have some other form of income, income. Yeah. because if you do, if you, then you're just taking battles, and yeah, they're not making you. sense. You're just doing yeah. it to make doing some that. dollars. Yeah. You know, how do you feel about that? And being a person like yeah. you that get, got these other streams mm-hmm. of income because you hustle so, very hard. So. How do you feel about that? What can you say to people okay. you know, that's in battle rap or, yeah. or want to be a battle rap? Yeah, I mean, no, you definitely, man, you can't put all your eggs in one basket in anything. That's not mm-hmm. just battle rap. Even if you see basketball players, all the top players and the players that are really doing things, they all have other business things going on. Even if they don't promote them as loud as maybe like knowing what some of the superstars do, but dudes, that's up the 12th man on the bench. Mm-hmm. He putting he invested in food trucks and restaurants, car washes, and you know, because he ain't going to play basketball for right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to play basketball till he's 67. He still need ways to make money and can't pass on the basketball team to your sons and kids, so you want to be able to own things that you can pass down to yours. So that's even in this. You got to look at yourself bigger than just battle rap. I never consider myself just a battle rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Since I came in the game, I've always done more than just battle rap. That's what I was going to ask you, too. Like, when you first started battling, it's like you weren't depending on those checks. Like, you was already still getting money early on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And however I was getting it, you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't depending on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. However I was getting it, I just wasn't depending on it. I tried to make sure I stay consistent on just... All right, I gotta get it, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like when that's when that when the checks start coming, don't get it twisted. Oh, Battle rap is a good source of income too, though. It's a high source of my income too, so I never take that away from it. I don't right. get big checks, consistent. Well, checks, she wouldn't be doing course. it. I wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, big checks, consistent <laughs> so. checks my whole time. So, but also knowing that I gotta take them and continue to invest in other things yes. to keep my brand going. That's something that I caught on with early. You know what I'm saying? I don't have my my share of mishaps where I done fuck money off and bad investments, gamble shit, lost shit. It's two months out, you feel me? Like like I just was saying to them, we learned so much about getting money, but a lot of us don't get taught how to manage money and keep money and how to make your money. You know how to money get it, don't you. know how to keep you know it and, 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 and grow just, it. And that's just in the black community. That's mm-hmm. not even just battle rap. That's everywhere. Right, like right, athletes, right. superstars, and all other Because we weren't taught that as we were through. kids. You dig what I'm saying? We've been seeing it, you know what yes. I mean? Like you can name a million celebrities who you done heard had it and went broke or... Ain't got it no more, and they was the biggest story at one time, and they trying to do other shit to keep. So you have to, but we still we like we didn't learn from their mistakes. Still, right. a lot of times we would some would and some wouldn't. So you have to be able to get that knowledge for yourself too, though. You got to seek it and try to figure out a way. So that was something I, I was just blessed with to have people in my family in my corner that understood how to get it in other ways too, though. You know what I'm right. saying? So that, that kept it, me going. I want to add on to that question, like, so what do you tell a battle rapper that's already battling, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And like they're depending on that check yeah, right yeah they can't get a, a job a regular job because mm-hmm. technically y'all are celebrities yeah, for sure. so and especially in the so, battle so, rap so culture they feel like they don't want to be just they, working they, at mcdonald's and now their fans rap. see them at mcdonald's like yeah. what do you tell them what do they do yeah. when it's like they they can't take a regular job should they just take that regular job yeah, and take yeah, that yeah, l yeah, you know look if you if you at that position to where battle rap ain't paying your bills and shit like that like you know what I'm saying like I'm blessed to be at a point where like I like without my other income I can pay my bills off just battle rap you know what I'm saying okay so I feel yeah, like I'm you, blessed yeah. enough to say yeah. that so but if we talking from a position of somebody that's like just barely getting on they might get a $500 here or $200 no I'm here, talking about somebody, somebody that's down. might be on okay. but they, they're not getting as they're much getting money as, much as they want to yeah get, you know yeah it's okay. like so how the fuck do you cause otherwise you're just taking 30 battles a year you know, you know with that, I was just saying, if you love it, then you got to go hard with it. You feel me? That's just like a motherfucker with a regular job. There's niggas who could go home, but they taking overtime. They doing all that because they like, nigga, this is what I'm into right now. I'm right, stacking. right, so you right, at it right. Like that, then, then that means you got to go that hard, though. You can't play with it when you're looking at it like that because it ain't going to happen. You can't. Because it ain't about how many battles you're doing. It's like you got to make those ones work so you can get a bigger get check. A big one. So if you did 30, you got to be going crazy on all 30. When back when I was battling back to back to back frequent, I always was crazy. doing good, going yeah. crazy on all them taking it. Th- but that's how hungry I was. Like, nigga, right. dollar, how much they got? I'm fucking with. I'm adding all this. Bro. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay, now I got the 10. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm trying to get this one. Two, 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 two. Oh, another 10. Like, you right, know, right, right. Oh, 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 let's get it. We got 60, 50. You got to do it at the high level gotta, or else yeah, otherwise you're just fucking it up. You just fucking yours yeah. up. So, like, yeah, you got, but you got to go hard then. That's when you got to 
You gotta look at yourself and be like, oh, how, how bad I want this shit. That's what anything I tell motherfuckers. People that say they want something until you gotta work for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you gotta work for it. Like ain't, ain't nowhere they ain't nowhere in the world people just giving you money for nothing. Right. And then right. once you're able to get money for nothing, it's cause you worked. Unless you just was born from it. You know, and that's a different story. So we're not talking about them people. We talking about a motherfucker that ain't got nothing and talking yeah. about them coming from the trenches, coming from the struggle. You gotta want it. Like you gotta go hard for yours. You gotta separate yourself from that mentality. I'm not gonna get it and put yourself in that mentality like and I'm finna go get it. Like, I'm go get a it job out. and shut the fuck go up. Go get a job and shut the fuck up. You get know what I'm saying? Treat this shit like a job. If that's what you wanna do, you know what I'm saying? Like really be at home taking your time, writing them raps, you know what I'm saying? Like perfecting your craft, mm -hmm. doing all that. Like all that still come with MCing and being a rapper. And then when you working on your brand, figure out what type of things that you interested in. Like I was always interested in clothes and being fly, so that's why I would have my own shit. It's the only time I ain't, I got some shit in the, uh, uh, up in the, room right now but it's the only time yeah, I you be wearing some shit sometimes yeah, make me yeah, really want to yeah. go spend the money yeah, yeah. to wear that shit yeah. too but i like nah yeah. and, and you, yeah. on me on the hood on man, me. you already know and even, and even sometimes i'll be like a lot of my no studio and shit is what i was saying but that's because i was such a young nigga i always was into getting fly so for me it's like okay boom i'm gonna put a passion behind trying to make these designs of these clothes and think of the colorways i want to do because i'm into that i'm not just doing it because i got some money trying to invest in shit. right right that's how we fuck up for our money yeah you know, somebody tell you like hey man get this barbershop you don't know yeah. you don't know, fuck cutting hair. <laughs> he just told you he could cut it now you don't put it on the barbershop and it ain't, ain't like nah you don't waste the money you got passion into you know yeah, so I, knew I was yeah. passionate into the clothing so that's why i took that serious and i've always been figuring out entertainment and different things so that's why the podcasts are coming up with these shows curating shows like i really like to be behind the scenes more with the shows too but i know my face is what's yes. bringing the traction so i gotta do you're the brand the same time. i'm the brand you know what i'm saying so i understand that but i also just know like all these different things you know you can get yourself into outside of just the battle man and, you know so i'm always there but if you've been since we've been knowing me i've always been somebody that a that's that why I asked you that, yeah. because it's it's not like you just giving game, mm -hmm. you proving it. Yeah. You know, like you you yeah. you know you can yeah. ask a motherfucker how to yeah. you know to 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 to, to uh, 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 put together a boat, yeah. but if they never put together yeah, a boat, like, how the fuck you gonna give me advice? You've been a battle rapper for a while, and mm -hmm. you've been successful outside of battle rap, sure. so it's possible. For sure. That's why I wanted to make man, sure I asked somebody why, like you. So I want to say this. That's why if you go to my YouTube channel. The no Studio and Network, I got a new series called Inside the Streets. Mm -hmm. And Inside the Streets details that same story and struggle of somebody having to persevere from the environment and make some of they self. And how do we do that and how do we explain that to the youth in a way that they can understand? Fire. My I got to watch it. My first episodes is with NLE Chopper and Lil 100. Uh, you, as we know, NLE Chopper, superstar from Memphis, right. Grape Street. Lil 100 start out the west coast from them joined down so we had that conversation in there to telling what it's like to have all that pressure on you and you got these little kids that's watching you and we growing up in these environments how do we turn them into NLE choppers you know what I'm saying and not turn them into the street versions of ourselves to have them doing the nonsense you know and they had a powerful conversation about that if they only pick up the street version they don't pick up the part of how you can get out the how street you can get out because yeah. it was a part in there where a motherfucker even said like I don't even know how like if it's a way show me he, it's like and that be the mentality of a lot of us in the hood we don't know people don't really know they trying to figure it out and then it's like even the people with the way we don't even know how to explain it to a way that they'll be getting it because it's like man just get the money man like you know nah, what I'm saying? Like, it's got to like, be broken like, yeah, down you know yeah. that's, but that's just how i be in the right like, right you mean you ain't getting money man, you better just get it like it's out there it, figure it out figure it out like i had to but it's like nah man get somebody for like you can tell somebody what you did and then motherfucker might can follow your blueprint i follow many people blueprints you know what i'm saying we all following blueprints of people we from somebody for us like Facts. okay Oh, he did that with that. Okay, that okay. Let me try to do that and do that and turn it into something. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what that show is. Not, I think I know that's what that show is geared towards. My next episode gonna drop is gonna be with Mr. Fab. I went out there Fire. to Oakland and he gave Shout us out a to lot Fab. of game. Fab, you know, he broke down a lot of games. So I can't wait for that episode. And we just gonna keep going. What is it called? Inside the streets. Inside the streets. On okay. Studio Network on YouTube. Inside the streets, man. I'm on it. I'm gonna check it out, man. Rock. Shout by Rock. Count Rick Rock behind the camera on that every time. It's crispy, crazy, you know what I'm saying? Put together, edited everything by Rick Rock, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to check it out, man. My man, Geechee Gotti, man. You know no man? studio and no shit, bro. Thank you shit. very much, brother. Love, 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 love. My man. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Radio. Let's go!